know. I did it. Hi. Good afternoon. Welcome to Bars and Bells. My name is Lauren. And I'm Ian. And this is our Strength and Swings class. Yes. Which you must say in that voice. Strength and Swings. Mm. Here, we're going to get warmed up nicely. Ian will take us through that. And then we'll get into a light kettlebell warm up, groove our get ups with some single arm swings that we've been working on, and progress our cleans and press to finish up. Can't wait? Let's get started. You'll need a light bell. Off to the side is a warm up bell, maybe a little heavier bell. Grab a selection. There we go. Let's start on the floor. No rules, no regulations. We will standardize that approach later with our get up. But for now, take your time coming down on the knees. Get in the just right position for you and start with the hands on the ground. Fingertips first. Fingertips down and for 10 or so seconds, let's roll from the index side of the hand towards the pinky or pinky first. I think that's what I did. So there's a nice and slow roll, nothing ballistic, but as you can see, Lauren's bouncing just a little bit. One more second. Now place the callus line where the hand will be parallel with that kettlebell in our press, place that on the ground, and then roll from the pinky side towards the index side. And the ultimate challenge is you only move as far as you can, keeping both the index and pinky knuckle on the floor. Not very much, but it could be quite intense. Then place the hands down. Cues for the elbows include blood donations forward, armpits low, and for a couple in a row, just that first knuckle push up, the push, Accept that load on the floor, screw in, push away, back and down. Last one, push through, extend the hips, add the wiggle. Fingertips facing laterally and same effort. Fingertips first, then that callus line, then the full hand. From here, I'll push to the right to send my energy left, and then pressing left, transferring the other side. Feel that grip between the fingertips and the ground, one or two more each side, push one way, go the other, and in our press, that's the armpit pulls down to press overhead. In the center, push away from center, extend those hips, add the wiggle, final hand position, the underhand grip. If this is too intense, modify on a wall or a slightly elevated surface, but if we can on the floor, we're going fingertips, callus lines, full hands. Shoulders, are they shrugged? If they are like me, let's pull them down. And lightly at first, a fingertip into the floor, pressing the index fingers, right and left hand, into the ground, relax. Same effort on the ring finger. Woo, the forearm flexors on the wrists there, feeling it. I think you missed the middle finger. And then we're gonna go to the middle finger. I probably missed that. Index, middles, rings, press them into the ground. Then the pinky, if we haven't talked about that one yet, heavy pinkies. Then slowly bend the elbows and peel those hands off the floor, extend through, and then let's get into a lunge to start or continue, I guess. Continue. Continuing. Lunge stance. Is the toe flat out the back? Is it tucked? This would be a plus. There's nothing wrong with this foot. Build it to yourself. This might be easier. Check it out. With the hips in our level position, one or two of these hip hulas here. Hip hula hip out to the side, hip underneath, come around that front corner and then switch our direction. Just a couple each way there. Then like in our get up, let's take that leg out to the side and repeat the same thing. Just a little hula here. And my range on this corner of that cir circle is quite small. Let's switch it here, pretty easy. Oh my goodness, that's pretty tough. One last time, excellent. Then from here, just slide and glide, pull and push. I'm pulling my knee and heel together to challenge the dorsiflexion on my ankle and then pressing away to tall. One more time, pull, travel, press, return to the front. Same effort, let's scissor those hips, encourage the knee over toe. We're gonna be squatting a little bit today, so we'll mm. check in with that. And with this bum cheek squeezing, push forward, Meet in the middle, hip extension, hip flexion, just a couple more. Pull yourself forward, push yourself back. One more time, let's pull and push. And then that ultimate challenge is like on a bicycle, slide that leg underneath, down and switch. In the front position, 
hula hoops, I'll be going clockwise, I believe, to start. Similarly, pretty mobile over here. It turns into an oval over on that side right there. Last one or two in that direction. Oh, I switch. And then switch, switching it out. If you're feeling it in your back, check in. Keep that load in the hips. Return to center, excuse me, center, out to the side, and the same hula hoop effort here. Nice and control. Clunk. Did hear a little click, clunk, pop there. We're not celebrating that, but maybe that was the liberating space we need to stay strong. Other direction. Goodness, that's a tight hip in that front corner here. Return to center, and then slide, glide. Knees over toes, push away, growing up a wall. Pull to move away from center. Pushing towards Lauren, in my case here, to get tall. And one more time for three. Pulling, pushing, and then returning to center. And the same effort. Pull the front heel back as you extend or squeeze the back hip and push forward, returning to the lunge like a getup. Again, pull ourselves forward. We have hip extension with the back leg, pushing forward, returning tall. Final repetition, pulling forward, push in here, and then that ultimate challenge of bringing it underneath. I have one more exercise for today, just one repetition of the getup with our press, coordinating those shoulders in each unique position. Mm -hmm. Let's start on our back with a hand on the chest or in that get-ups position we know, we'll start by extending the hip sure. and pulling onto the elbow. Looking at the hand, gripping on like we have a bell, pull the elbow towards the hip, press away. Tall sit next. From here, we're bridging. Hey, Jay. <laughs> uh, it's good, it's okay, good. Okay, good, good. Excuse me, sorry, from, from this position here, we're gonna pull the elbow I might have skipped one, I'm sorry. Pull the elbow towards the hip and then press and then away. Let's square up our lunge, stand up tall. Final time, pull down, grooving the press. Yep. Core brace, saw that, to the top. And then the leg you can touch drops. We open, we rotate the upper body, we hinge without bonking heads. We'll sweep a leg, find the elbow, and then one second towards the floor and return. So one 1,000 and stack. One, two, and stack. Three seconds and back. Two, one, stack. And then four to the floor. Hmm. And switch. Packing the shoulder, extending the hip, pulling on the elbow. At our first pull press. Vertical forearm. Crush it with the grip, tall set. I think we skipped our press here you the did. last time, so let's do it here. Do We're it. gonna pull down to the hip and hip press to the ceiling. Bridging, sweeping, and emulating that bent press, pulling the elbow to the hip, cramping up that lat, and then pressing, sliding, squaring up, standing tall, and in that tall position again to pull down to the rack, press back up. Leg we can touch drops back in our lunge, nice and slow and control there. Open, rotate and hinge, hand to the floor, sweep a leg. Sweep a leg. Hit the tall sit to the elbow, one second return. To the floor and back, two seconds. And back, three, two, one, and now four seconds with no crash. Bang onto the floor. Mm. Oh, all right, Lauren. Yeah, I'm let's done. just take I'm a second here. Hang out in the corner or not. What are you yeah, up to? feels great to be on the floor, first of all. But let's get up. No rules, stand up. Help a partner if they yeah. need it. Yeah, nice. All right. You're going to have ready in front of you a lighter bell. We're going to go through a bottoms up, a squat. A halo, a squat, a little pullover, a squat. Have something you can do all those activities with. Squats. Or groove it with a light ball or another implement. Light dumbbell. All right, we're gonna start with our bottoms up. What that entails, stepping slightly behind your bell like you're in your hinge stance. You're gonna use your hinge 
We're gonna set this up for the first time, not lift it. Grip close to the corner with your pinky touching that corner of the horn. Now, grip the bell, press some weight straight down to it, feeling that packed wrist, straight elbow, packed shoulder. As long as your bell is heavy enough and stable enough, take a little step back and feel that three point plank. My shoulders are square to the floor. My hips are square to the floor. Hold, three, two, step, step, up without. I called it a plank. I know your knees are still bent. Hover. 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 Three point hover. Hinge, hover. Hip hinge. Grip bell, square up shoulders. Straight elbow, packed wrist, shoulder, step, step back. Square to the floor. Feel that engaged core. Hold, three, two, step, step in. This time, we're gonna take it up into our bottoms up position. I'll show you quick and then we'll join me. Use your hinge, push straight down. Sit back a little bit, whoop, upside down. Have your other hand ready as needed. Place down with just as much control. Ready to join me? Use your hinge, grip, corner side. Not on the corner though, just the corner side. Push straight down, little swing back, upside down, find stability. Elbows ideally pointing forward, shoulder blades retracted, lats engaged, glutes are squeezed, thinking about pressing this bell for four, three, two, through and park. When we first opened our studio, I couldn't press bottoms up that press. No, that's, I can't. That's heavy. It's cool. It only took seven years. Hinge. Practice, practice. Grip. Pack shoulder. Little zip. Upside down. Have that other hand ready. Protect your face and your teeth. Retract your shoulder. Brace your core. Keep your glutes tight. Try to find that stability for five. Three, two. <laughs> Save dismount. Nice. I wobbled in the back and Lauren's x-ray or... Superman like vision. Came Saw through. Teacher like vision. Saw squat. It. Standing behind your bell. Let's pull ourselves down in our low squat. Hang out for a couple seconds, opening up hip, opening up hip. Heels are down right now, chest is lifted. If you'd like, take your hands into your bell. Curl it up. Stand up with it. From here, let's pull ourselves back down. Probably not quite so low break parallel. To tall. Four more. Pull yourself down, core brace. Hup, to tall. As you do this, at the bottom before you press up, feel that brace through core and think about driving down and out on the floor, engaging glutes. Last one, all the way down. Extend elbows. Let go. Up without. The dragon breath's coming in now. Mm -hmm. Let's get the heart rate and core fired up. We're going to take it to a halo. I'll show you again a quick halo and then we'll do it together. Sit down, this time an overhand grip, low curl up from the front, ear, back of head, ear, front. We'll be going, that was a little bit of a hybrid put down. We'll be going both ways. Behind your bell, sit in your low squat. This time take your hands over, so you're gripping between your thumb and your index finger. Tip the bell. Curl it, butts up this time. Stand up tall, feet together. From here, ear, back of head, ear, front. Do it again, same direction. Are your glutes squeezed, core braced, shoulders low with lats engaged? Switch direction for three. Try not to move anything but the bell around you. You don't move around it. Last one. Back to center, step your feet to your squat, pull yourself down, extend, placing bell down, up without. Yeah. Nice. Excellent. All right, one more set of squats. I'm gonna do my pull catch. Put the bottom up. Oh, we did that already. Oh, okay. We moved on. All right. We're gonna go back to our squats. This time I'm gonna do my pull catch to grip the bell. So standing over top, I'll use my hinge, Grip the top, pull, zip down the horns. Here, ready? Pull yourself low, drive down and out to stand up. Glutes and abs at the top, 
Core brace throughout. Find that strength. Oh, two more. Pulling down. Pressing away. Last one. And oh, let it re-grip. Hinge. Nice flat back. Hop without. We have one more upper body activity. It's a little bit new and different with this bell. It's a heavy bell. It's a heavy bell. I'm debating my weight here. I'm going to knock. It's a, a kettlebell or a dumbbell pullover. You might have seen someone at the gym doing it. They're laying on their back. They have a weight. And they're going to take it towards overhead. We're going to do the same thing with flexed elbows, mimicking that position just like in the halo a moment ago, keeping the ribs to the hips, kettlebell towards the back of the body, and pull on those armpits to return to rack. It's a couple for Lauren. Maybe I'll go and Lauren can yeah. continue the same. So Ian's going to pick it up like he did his halo. So hands over, curl it, squat it up. Nice. Come a little closer and give him a nice view. From that front position, shoulders down, engage lats. Elbows will drive forward, but then up to the sky. Bell will be upright behind your head. Pull to return it back to center. Repeat two or three more. I did about three. It felt great as he's doing this. Ribs to hips, but squeezed. Keep your partner accountable. Anytime. Lats are engaged, so those shoulders are low and locked in. Last pull back to center. Put it down through your squat. Uncurl, up Ooh. without. Great. Those are harder than when you describe them. I like it. We have one more set of squats. Make it an even three. I'm going to do my hinge to pull cat. Oh, yeah, it's not even an at all. Even is it? three. It's my favorite number. I know. Hinge. I know. Pull catch. Five again. An even five. Pull yourself down to tall. Pull down. Butt snaps. Two more. Tall. Last one. Tall. Hinge to place belt down. Up without. Yeah. Personally, I'm clearing that bell out of the way. And I'm going to go to my slightly heavier bell here. Right now, we're going to be mixing some get ups and some single arm swings. We're going to do a half get up starting at the bottom, all the way up to your sweep through to your back. Other side, sweep through to your back. Come on down, let's start on the floor. And then we'll do some single arm swings after that. All right, no rules. Entering your cuddle position with your kettlebell. Hmm. One hand grips, second hand cuddles, two handed roll and hup hup press. Half get up, so we go to the elbow, to the hand, lift hips, sweep, hold stacked position. Three, two, sweep back through to the elbow, slowly to your back. Two hands, bell pulls down, cuddle over. Take a second, move your body around your bell. There you go. And we'll do the same thing on the second side. Ready? Yep. With a cuddle and then a roll press. Use your hip extension, drive, pull to elbow. Find your hand, lift, sweep, hold. Three, two, Sweeping back through, find your elbow, control to your backside. Two hands, pull down, cuddle. Come on up, no rules again. We're getting right into our single arm swings here. I know that's crazy, Ooh. normally we do some hike passes, some stop swings, but I feel like we got under some load with our squats today. So we're gonna get into I go, you go. I go five, single arm swings on my right. Ian goes five, I go left, he goes left. We do another get up. With the bell that's appropriate for you, Team Lauren is gonna start. Use your hinge. Five swings, gripping on tight, keeping that shoulder packed. We have that breathing match, like yeah, right there. And finish strong. You're starting strong, finish stronger. Excellent. Up without. Same thing for Ian, first side for five. All the way through, feeling that plank tension at the top like you warmed up in your three-point plank. And nice park. 
One more time, Team Lauren, second arm, five. We are wearing our mics in a little bit of a new position here today to clean up our sound. Does I feel like my chest is beating through the screen here? Check it out. We'll check the review. Let us know how it goes. Left side. Left side, Team Ian. Five swings again. One. And straight and tall. Hips all the way through. Nice strong nose breath. Braced. Nice. Did I pick that up? <laughs> I don't think we clipped it, so I think we're all right. All right. Whew. We're coming back down to the floor. Nice. I'm going to do one full get up, down, up, down on our right, and then one full get up on our left. There we you go. choose your starting arm. Come on down. Full get up here. One rep each. One rep each side. All right. Two handed cuddle. Roll press to the elbow first, to the hand. The lift sweep, pressing away, finding that nice level lunge position from our warm up, and that leg you can touch drops back, rotate around, sweep, elbow, and down. Nice. Good. How's your gravity today? Gravity? Mm -hmm. We're defying it, I think. It feels good. Yours feels good today? Yours feels heavier? It feels a little heavy today, but I'm hoping that this bell will make my next bell. Yeah, I'm trying to implement light. that same strategy. A little heavier one here, a little lighter one later. All right, second side. Here we go. Pedal roll press. Elbow, hip drive. And lift, sweep. Pressing that floor away, using both legs and your core to help you on the up. Nice controlled step back lunge, pivoting around that bell. Sweeping and to the ground. Whew. Nice. Take your time finishing. Come on up when you're ready. We're going to do the same activity we did last time. Five, 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 five. We're going to do two rounds of it. So we'll end up doing 10 swings on our right and 10 swings on our left, but in sets of five. Sets of five. All right, Team Lauren. I like being Team Ian. We always get to go second. Just don't tell Lauren that that's the case often. Oops. Five swings. The feet are rooted into the floor. The high tension through the core. And time it so that that kettlebell comes down. We're tall. Hinge. Reset. Team Ian, first arm. Five swings, strong through the top, swinging to that chest tight, trying to keep the elbow straight, get that timing down. Team Lauren, round two of four. Mm, that elbow straight comment, you wanna make sure that, that shoulder blade is retracted or packed. Stiff elbow, nice firm grip on that kettlebell. Team Ian, second arm, first round. As we're recovering here, waiting for Team Ian to go, nose breaths. Filling belly, staying strong. Ooh, that Second side round. profile looks great. And you can really see that timing drill is Lauren. Stays tall in the plank. The bell approaches hips. <laughs> it's getting tough on the breath. Okay, five again. I think I did my fifth swing. I might have counted to four. You know me. Sometimes I lose count mid-workout. Teamy and keeping it tight. Bringing it into five here. Ooh. One more time. Second side team learn. I think I've repeated my left arm twice in a row. So we are going to try to keep that even. Switching sides. Staying strong. Okay. Team Ian, last set of five this set. Team Lauren, slow in the breath. In and out the nose. Fill in the belly. Slowing it down. Mm -hmm. Taking a second. Mm. Getting ready for the last round of this routine. The longest round. We're gonna try to do two get ups on each side. All the way up, all the way down. All the way up, all the way down. Second side. Awesome. And then following that with some swings, but let's cross that bridge when we get there. First, two get ups in the same arm. If you're feeling like, oh no, I'm confident with one. I don't know if I can do the second one loaded, do a half get up, do it body weight, lighten the load, 
Spend some more time just in the firing range position on the second one. Make it work for you. Ready? Got to roll and press. Yep, yep. To the elbow. Dang. Lift, sweep. Taking your time moving around that bell. Finding a pause and strength in each position as you go. Not a rush. It should be nice and slow. One move at a time. That's one. You keep the bell up. Go again. Breathing as you need to through this get up. Trying to keep your eye looking towards that bell. <laughs> Find a nice pattern. Take your time. Move around it. Oh, I don't know if Luca would count that last rep. I had to put a little hand on premature. Oh, did you? But we stayed in control. Good. And we'll get it this time. Keep it safe. Or the next time. Practice all the time. At least once a week. At least once a week. <laughs> all right. Second side, same routine. Shake it out. Get ready. <clears throat> Two in a row. Cut a row press. To the elbow. Keep those shoulders packed and lats engage it as you lift and sweep. Again, that top arm is trying to stay nice and upright and straight with that elbow extended. With control to the back side. Keep the bell in firing range. Go again. Nice. One move at a time. Last get up of the Ooh. day. Safety first. Breathe. Finish with control. Park it. There we go. Take a breather. Nice. Whew. Whew. That loose cue Lauren threw out there, woo, is one of the hardest things to embrace in your practice here. High tension like under that get up and let things relax before Lauren makes them intense again with the swing. That's what I'm about to do now. <laughs> we have one last round of single arm swings today. It doesn't mean we're done after that, but one last round of single arm swings. Three rounds of I go, you go. Five each side still. Okay. That'll take us to, that's a set of 30 swings, 15 each side, plus 30 before. That's a good amount of swings today. I think we had 30 before. In those last two sets we Oh, did. over two sets, yeah. yes, okay. Keeping that math going there for you, those at home. Team Lauren, first arm, five. <sighs> those swings look even better than her first set. Hard to do, I know, but if anyone can do it, you and Lauren can do it. Team Ian, breathe, pack that shoulder, zip every time. Just match that exhale to that hip drive through. Park it with control, Ooh. second side. I was writing about these exercises as my favorite endurance exercise. A little bit of a white lie, because I don't like endurance exercises, which is why I'm here with Lauren, swinging five. Yes. That huff and puff isn't for Ian all the time. But it's good for us. It's good for us. It's good for us. Ooh. So we do it occasionally, but we also don't overdo it. Round two. And as we're doing it with high intensity, with this energy output of the swing, reinforce it's okay by slowing your breath and staying loose. <sighs> Breathe. That was 10? No, that was five. Five and five though? Yeah, you're on round. He's Ian's team. Round two of round three on the first arm. I'm really keeping track tonight. Focusing in on my numbers. <sighs> Team Lauren, second arm, second round. Five swings. They look the same, if not better. Keep that speed up. If you feel your pace is slowing, pick a lower number and stay strong with that. All right, Team Ian. Team Lauren, we have five and five left. I was thinking, this is what I was gonna tell you. You need about both hips coming through on these single arm swings. Both hips through. Ooh. Last. In our single leg, swing, single arm swing, we're doing everything to avoid the rotation. Drive the hips straight back. 
drive the hip straight through, keep the shoulder blade retracted to prevent the twist. See me in second, or sorry, first side, last set. Getting out 30 swings here. Still in control of the breath, control the heart rate, control the breathing. Last set of five here. Mm. The feet are still heavy. The grip is still intense. Finishing a couple more repetitions. We can relax after. My turn. Ian's turn. Team Lauren, breathing into the nose of the nose. Just trying to slow that breath down. Filling the belly in all ways. Team Ian, join us on that. In and out of the nose. Filling belly. Relaxing that upper neck, shoulders as we breathe. Should we do a breathing exercise right now? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Into the belly for four, three, two, one. Exhale, four. Into the belly for four. Hold your breath for four. Exhale for four. Inhale for four. Hold your breath for four. Breathe into the chest for four. Exhale for four. One more round. In for four, belly. Hold four. Chest for four. Exhale for four. Here we go. Hold empty for four. Relax. Mm. That empty feeling still gets me every time. Mm. It's getting a little bit easier, but I still like to breathe after that, that's for we sure. We want to stress our bodies with those swings. Make sure that we can recover in a pretty quick fashion. Keep it intense. Keep that time brief that you can stay strong. And holy cow, levels of intensity. We have one more drill. Okay. It's five minutes long. Let's do it. Looks like we have some cleans and presses on our menu today. So it's five rounds on the 30 seconds. At the noon, which I'll tell you when because you can't see the clock. On the first 30 seconds, we'll go one clean to rack, press, bell goes down. Second side on the next 30 seconds, clean press. Five rounds, couple options for rep schemes. I'm gonna stick to two for the whole five rounds. So I'm gonna go clean press, clean press, take a break, other side. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go one, two, three, check in with how I feel and continue the three, two, one. We'll kind of make it up at that point, but a little There's bit only of, five rounds. And a little bit of an up and a down is the goal here. So pick your rep structure. We're gonna start in 10 seconds with our first arm. Clean press, if you're going for a second one, clean press. That's your routine. Get ready. In three, two, a clean rack, a press. And whether you're doing another one or not, if you're not, park it. And then park and take a couple seconds off. Nice. So we have about 15 seconds here, shaking it off in between, keeping that grip light, slowing the breath. Thinking about how many reps you're going to do on the second arm. It should be as many as the first arm. Get ready in three, two, same thing. Clean. And one more. There we go. Cramping <sighs> glutes, bracing core, avoiding the massive lean to the side. Shoot energy under the bell to press tall. That is a heavy load. Mm -hmm. I always find, though, that round one is harder than round two. So here we go, round two. Same or different number, your choice. Just the same pattern. Hmm. Take a second, shake it out, Ooh. wipe the sweaty paws. That was a different position of the handle. felt different in the hand. Felt different. You'll notice I do adjust my stance as I step in when I clean. This is allowed. Do what you need to do. Second side, same reps. Mm. 
Nice. Two rounds done of five. Oh. You might see that it looks like we're leaning a little bit. This is true and not true. We are in fact driving that hip under the shoulder to get us over. This is okay. Oh, not so okay. So define the two. Oh shoot, we gotta go. First arm. You pick your reps. But no matter how you press that bell, core stability, 360 degrees. Take a couple seconds off. Not too many if you're eating. And we have that second side. Same number. <sighs> Love the number three, but on a set of five, I like when the number three is done. More than halfway through this last set, what did you think your numbers were gonna be? How'd they go? How are you gonna finish these last two rounds? I'm sticking with two, it's feeling great. I went up, one, two, three, I'm coming back, two, one. Hmm. Keeping those cleans tight to the body as we do this still. Zip up that winter coat. Keep it like in your tele, keep it like you're in that telephone booth. Second arm, three, two. <sighs> On that pull down to return the belt to that rack position, that forearm is staying vertical, the lat is engaged, the core, the abs, you know it all. One more round. I'm still in twos. What do you use? One. Oh, use. Use. What do you use? Ready? Grateful for a little more rest this set. Didn't have too much. We were doing threes. But, whew, there That's we go. Another element. Three Last reps. Last one. Last set here for five, in five seconds. Last round. Last arm. Last activity. Strong, just like you started. Ah, oh, and then let it all out when you're done that. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I might have just hit you on oh. the last one. Take your breaks. Nice. Grab a drink if you'd like. Finish with a quick little stretch from the floor. Nice. You or me? What do you, you have something on your oh, mind? Oh, I just like the old hungry bear to finish a little bit. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. What's going on? It's just the really stretched out your shirt there, showing your Show chesties off there. We'll wear the deep V the next time. All right, go ahead. Take your time getting to the floor. If you know that when you sit on the ground, your low back is likely to round, sit on a yoga block, pick up the floor, and assemble in your hungry bear. Can you get it to a place where those lateral borders of the feet touch the ground? Maybe bring your heels in to satisfy that requirement. From here, I'll take my fingertips, place them at the back for additional support. Lauren likes to cue butt, excuse me, weight on two butt cheeks. So with that in mind, pivot on the heel or internally rotate the hip. As you can see, Lauren has a lot of that. Me, not so much. And then going the other way, I have a lot of that. And Lauren, not so much. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Keep the weight on two butt cheeks and from the hip, adduct to the center line or move the knee in and then out. Same thing other side, nice and control. Weight on two butt cheeks, keep your shoulders square and then open. And then last one, oh. nice and controlled to close. Great job there, Lauren, not doing the foot, moving it from the hip. That's right. Here, and then nice and control, maybe to that mer person to finish. Maybe you're laying on the floor, 
maybe you're here in your mermaid set. Wherever you are. Wherever you are. Thank you very much for being here with Lauren and myself, Ian. This was our strength and swings class. We'll do it again next week, same time, same place. You should be a member if you're not already. And if you are, thanks for being awesome. If you have any questions, email us, hit us up in the chat, and we'll get back to you ASAP. You know. Until then, take care, stay strong, and see you soon. Have a great night. Goodbye.